Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete EKS clusters node groups in AWS using AWS console. I have logged into the AWS management console. First we are going to create two roles, one for the cluster and one for the node. Click IAM here, click roles, click create role. So we are going to create a role for EKS. So in the services, search for EKS, select EKS, select EKS cluster, then click next. So here you can see the policy name associated that is Amazon EKS cluster policy. Click next, give a name to the role. So I'm going to give the name as EKS cluster create role the role has been successfully created now let us create one more role this is for the node click ec2 click next now search for eks so select the as well as select the amazon eks worker node policy now search for container and Amazon EC2 container registry read only select that then click next we are going to create a role with these three policies given name EKS node group role click create role so this role also has been successfully created now let us create a VPC using the CloudFormation template provided by AWS. Click CloudFormation. Click Create Stack with new resources. So here we need to provide the Amazon S3 URL where we have the template for creating the VPC. So this is the getting started console documentation. So I am going to copy this template URL from here. Copy it. This is the URL I am going to use it here. Paste it here. And then click next. So we need to give a name for this. So I am going to give this name as EKS PPC stack. So reviews configuration and click next. Remaining all I am going to leave as default. Click submit. The creation of this stack is going to take some time. Here you can find the stack info and the events. So you can see some of the resources, resource creation has been completed and most of the resource creation is in progress. And here you will be able to see the resources. And here you will be able to see the output parameters and here you can see the complete template you will be able to copy this template and create the VPC using this template let's wait for the status to change to create complete the VPC stack has been successfully created now let us create the EKS cluster mm -hmm. click elastic kubernetes service add cluster create so we need to give a name for the cluster. So let's give the name as demo cluster. And we need to select the role. So we created a, this thing. So we will use that role. EKS cluster role. Click next. So we need to select the VPC. So this is the VPC which is created as part of the VPC stack. And these are the subnets which are part of that we need to select these security groups again this is a security group created as part of the stack so the cluster endpoint access i am going to give us uh, public and private which means the api server will be in public and the other worker nodes are will be there in the private click next so i'm not going to enable the login click next so these are the add-ons which are installed by default so click next click next 
okay so let's review the configuration okay click create so the add-ons are successfully added and it gives a message that the we won't be able to add any node group or the Fargate profile while, while the cluster is being created it is going to take few minutes before the cluster creation is going to complete let's wait for that the cluster demo cluster has been successfully created now so now let us go and create a managed node group go to compute click add node group so we need to give a name for the node group so we will give it as the name as demo node group then we need to select the role we have created a role eks node group role so we'll select that remaining all we will leave it as default click next so here again we will uh, leave it as the ami as amazon linux 2 and the instance type will select as uh, t2 t2 micro disk size i'm going to leave it as a default 20 the size size minimum size max size everything i'll leave it as a default 2 maximum one available i'll leave it as a default number one next i want the worker nodes to be deployed only in the private subnet so i am going to remove the public subnet from here then click next now let's review the configuration then click create so the node group creation is in progress again this is going to take some time let us go to ec2 and check whether the instance has been created to click ec2 click instances yes so the two instance are getting created currently it is in the pending state one instance is in running state now and the status check is initializing so both the instances are in running state now we need to wait till the status check is complete while this is coming up let's go to eks select the cluster name and review the other configurations in the overview page you can see the api server endpoint certificate authority the open id connector provider url and the cluster iam role arn and in the resources you will be able to see that information about the kubernetes resources here you can see the pods you can see the replica sets deployments jobs if at all if there is any jobs and here you will be able to see the node information so we could see there are two nodes part of this cluster and you will be able to see the services here and in the config map you will be able to see the config maps and you will be able to see the storage classes you will be able to see the service accounts if there is any policies defined you will be able to see it under these sections and you will be able to see the custom resource definitions mutating webhook configurations and the validating webhook configurations so all these informations you will be able to see here so the compute you will be able to see the nodes both the nodes are currently in the ready state the node group it says still creating so let's wait for the status to change okay so the no the node group also has been created so you could see these statuses active now networking you can see the vpc as well as the subnets and the security groups the add-ons the default these add-ons are installed so you could see that here the logging we didn't enable this logging so everything is in off mode and we didn't associated any tags so no tags here okay the compute so if we wanted to access this cluster from our local system so we need to get the cube config let's go to the terminal aws eks update cube config 
then we need to give the region then we need to give the name of the cluster which is the demo cluster so we got the data copy to the cube config so now we will be able to access this cluster so let's confirm that get nodes so we could see the nodes which are part of this cluster let's check the pods as well so these are the pods which are running in the kubernetes cluster that we'll be able to go and confirm here pods we could see all these pods even from our local system so now we have seen how to create a EKS cluster and node group so now let us see how we will be able to delete the node group and then the delete the cluster select this delete so we need to give the node group name here it is getting deleted the node group have been successfully deleted along with the nodes now we can go and delete the cluster click delete cluster so we need to give the cluster name then click delete cluster termination is in progress it is going to take some time to delete the cluster the cluster demo cluster has been successfully deleted in this demo we have seen how to create a EKS cluster and then the manage node group using AWS console also we explored the cluster as well as we have seen how to delete the manage node group and then the cluster what we created if you like this video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo